Well, Janet, uh, weekend in Arizona, uh, an overtime loss and a tie. Talk about your just your overall thoughts on the team's performance this weekend. Yeah, you know, it's hard to talk about the weekend as a whole because Friday was so different than Sunday. Friday, I will say this, I think both on both games the effort was certainly there. Friday performance-wise um, just wasn't our night. We just didn't play really well. Um, as a, a group or really as individuals and whether you want to say that's the time difference or not we can't really use that because one of the reasons that we went out there was to challenge ourselves in that way we have to be able to rise to that challenge I think we'll be better at rising because of that experience and, and certainly that's one of the reasons for the weekend and Sunday our performance was much better you know I thought we really played well enough to to earn a shutout um, I've looked at the tape it was a legitimate handball call so I can't even um, say that but I, I, I think we performed so much better um, on Sunday, especially defensively. And, you know, we just didn't hit the frame of the goal as uh, well as we have. And certainly that, you know, those two things balance out and come out with the tie. So uh, really not happy with the results from the weekend, but really pleased on what I think that weekend is going to give us in terms of progress and development and improvement. What was the biggest difference defensively from Friday to Sunday? What did you feel like improved the most? Well. Um, I, I think part of the difference was the way that Arizona plays allowed us to to figure out how to drop when someone's getting ready to play the ball over the, the top of us. And so our dropping and sense of dropping, because we knew it was coming, we did it with such assuredness. And once we did, we realized how comfortable of a space then we had to step forward and defend. If you drop effectively, you can defend moving forward instead of defending on while you're backpedaling. And so I think we figured that out. And, um, you know, Taylor Peterson really figured out, how, you know, staying connected. And so, you know, I think if we can put the things that we've been doing together and, and you saw that improve over the game, um, that certainly will help us defensively. Back home this weekend for a couple of games. Uh, Indiana State, you're certainly familiar with uh, seeing them several times over the years. New program in uh, Florida International that I don't think you've faced before. Uh, talk about the challenges coming up this weekend. Well, you know, I both both teams are you know have been expected to do well in their conference and are you know um, showing some results against some some good teams. So, you know, I think for us, what we're really looking for is to get consistency. Now, can we have the offensive consistency and get all our shots on frame like we've done in most of the games throughout the year? But can we also now find a defensive consistency from front to back? Can we find that um, midfield defensive work rate that we had this weekend? Can we find the collective dropping and squeezing that our back line had? And I think if we can put all those things together and have a consistent weekend, we'll be in the right place heading into the conference season. Yeah, as you uh, look at how the team has fared through the non-conference season, um, how do you feel like things are progressing as you get ready for that league slate? Well, I certainly think from, from us, from our perspective, We've improved from day one till now. Um, you know, we've played teams that we expected to challenge us in different ways from Notre Dame to Arizona, style of play, weather conditions, um, travel, all of those kinds of things that you know you're going to experience come Big Ten season. Um, we've certainly put our team through that. Um, our results are, they could have gone either way. You know, we could have come out with a win and a tie in, in Arizona, and certainly our record would look better. Um, and, you know, you hope that that doesn't come to, to back to haunt you when it comes to election time. But I, I think what's most important for us now is I feel like um, with a consistent performance this weekend, this team will be where we want them to be heading into the conference season. As I look around the conference, it's a little bit all over the map. And you just have, without having been there and see the teams compete and see how they performed on the day, there's no telling what everybody else is in terms of whether they're ready for the conference season. And that's something we can't really control. So, you know, we're going to go into this being as prepared as we can and then certainly take the conference games one at a time.